Now that you know how organisms reproduce asexually, let's explore sexual reproduction. When we are at this topic, I will want you to leave all your preconceptions behind, not the contraceptions. That is something that we will be discussing about a little later on. We are about to enter a place which has got weird logic all of its own. A place where reproduction causes sex. What is sexual reproduction in the first place? Biologically, it is exchange of genes. A body, besides all its regular cells, makes special reproductive cells called germ cells. Do not confuse this with disease-causing microbes. A germ cell has only one set of genes, unlike an ordinary cell which has two. The grail of sex is when these two germ cells from two different bodies get together. This is called fertilization. This new combined cell grows into a new body with a new combination of genes, half from here and half from there. Actually, we should call this half production and not sexual reproduction as each parent contributes only half the genes in the process. When we talk about sex, there is male and female. But how did this male-female thing happen? Once upon a time, let us imagine, all germ cells were alike, except some might have had some extra nutrients and fat, an enhanced cell. Since it carried its own food, it had survival advantage over non-enhanced cells. So, fat germ cells were winners and half the world was making them. We started calling them as eggs and individuals that made them as females. Meanwhile, some other individuals did just the opposite. They made smaller germ cells. Although smaller germ cells lacked nutrients, it had another advantage. Mobility. It could swim or drift to an egg, merge with it and exploit the egg's nutrients. The quickest and the sturdiest got there first. And soon, the other half of the world started producing these mobile midgets. This is what we call as sperm and the individuals that make them as males. When there are two different types of gametes or sex cells or germ cells that are formed, it has a technical name, heterogametes. So, when we say sexual reproduction, it is just making the egg and the sperm fuse. The genetic exchange will happen, the first cell or the zygote is formed. Finally, the zygote divides mitotically to produce a baby. Simple, isn't it? Actually, this is where all the complication starts.